It seems to be a very common thing that when a president leaves office, he starts to open up a little more about how things are actually going down. That's right, we talking aliens, baby! Now, as we know, quite recently, the Navy has admitted that UFOs are real. Over the years, footage has been released, but it seems within the last few years specifically, the hunt for aliens has really ramped up. Maybe it was all the Kyle storm in Area 51 back in 2019, or maybe it was former President Trump vowing to expose what the US government knows about aliens. Regardless of what has led to this change in heart of those who have been guarding top secret information, it seems now yet another high profile politician, former President Barack Obama, has also confirmed UFOs exist. Today in OBQ, we're asking what does Obama confirming UFOs mean? for America. Smash that like button and if we hit 500 likes, I will go alien hunting for a video. We'll do like vlog style for 500 likes. Let's, let's do it guys. We got this. Let's do it. So the news that is now making headlines is that former President Barack Obama admitted that UFOs are real. Does that confirm alien existence? Not necessarily. But I mean, if you're confirming that unidentified flying objects are real, then it seems the next logical step is aliens. They exist. It's almost been confirmed. Let's go! While on the Late Late Show with James Corden, Obama explained, I quote, the truth is that when I came into office, I asked, I was like, all right, is there the lab somewhere where we're keeping the alien specimens and spaceship? And you know, they did a little bit of research and the answer was no. However, prior to that, he did say, I quote, well, when it comes to aliens, there's some things I just can't tell you on air. So the man can't talk about aliens, but he can talk about UFOs, eh? Okay, I'm just saying there's something there, guys. I'm not saying what, I'm just saying something. Further explaining, Obama said, I quote, but what is true, and I'm actually being serious here, is that there are, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain how they moved, their trajectory. They did not have an easily explainable pattern. And so, you know, I think that people still take seriously trying to investigate and figure out what that is, but I have nothing to report to you today. Now, again, he's just saying that stuff flies. They don't know what it is, and that's the end of the story. Not aliens, could be a new type of bird, or maybe another country's new military drone. But as you guys know, I think it's aliens. It has to be aliens. What else could it be? Now, here's an interesting point. Back when President Trump had the reins, he actually signed that $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus bill, which included that the Office of the Director of National Intelligence and Secretary of Defense provide Congress with a very detailed report on, I quote, unidentified aerial phenomena. Aliens! And as for CNN's Zachary Cohen, I quote, that report must contain detailed analyses of UFO data and intelligence collected by the Office of Naval Intelligence, the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, and the FBI, according to the Senate Intelligence Committee's directive. I quote, it should also describe in detail an interagency process for ensuring timely data collection and centralized analysis of all unidentified aerial phenomena, reporting for the federal government, and designate an official responsible for that process. And as we know, there have been plenty of videos which have since been leaked showing what appear to be UFOs flying. One of the more recent viral videos is believed to have been from the Navy near the coast of California. It is believed to have been taken back in July of 2019, but has become a hot topic of discussion for quite some time now. Jeremy Corbell, who is a well-known alien and UFO enthusiast, shared the footage in which you could actually hear military personnel saying it splashed when the UFO dives into the water. Now, a month prior, Corbell shared footage of a triangular looking UFO flying in the night sky. It seems the time is finally coming, where not only the public, but even the government is getting behind the idea of exposing the secrets. What isn't being shared that people know about? Now, what does all this mean for America? Well, it could mean nothing, it could mean everything. The initial thought for a lot of people is aliens, but isn't it interesting, even in the slightest, that all the alien and UFO sightings are always in the United States? We've had like one in Canada, I think it was in Manitoba or something like in the 70s. Now South America has also had a few sightings, but it seems the United States is like the top dog. Like they're always the one being visited by aliens. It's almost like, I don't know guys, it's almost like the aliens somehow know that America is the greatest country in the world. It's the land of opportunity, the land of freedom, the land of guns, beer, America. So I guess that's why they're always being caught, I don't know, checking out the California coast. They're like, yo, I wanna go to that country. Freedom, beers, guns, yes! But here's another crazy thought, guys. Maybe it actually is the work of another country. Maybe it's Russia, China, North Korea, who knows? Maybe it's Canada, I don't know. I know we're all very excited about aliens, but I'm simply proposing that we leave no stone unturned and look at all the possible options here. Of course, if this does in fact confirm alien existence, somehow that's incredible. It'd be the first legitimate sign of intelligent life outside of the human race. I mean, like, I, I think animals are intelligent, but I guess more so like a, a, a sentient being. I think it would also pique the interest of other countries, although there would also be some skepticism from countries who don't have the best relationship with the United States, which actually brings up another possibility that I feel people don't want to believe. Now, let me clarify, I would love to say this is aliens. I think the idea is so cool and don't necessarily think they'd want to take over, 
Maybe we could coexist, we could learn from each other, who knows? However, another possibility or angle, as I mentioned before, would be that this could be the work of a foreign military. Again, Obama confirmed unidentified flying objects. It's something that flies, that they couldn't determine what it was. And for us to think that the government is always keeping it 100% transparent with their citizens, well, you got a lot of learning to do. So it is possible that this is the work of another country who have managed to create a piece of technology that is capable of long form flight and moving in ways that we didn't think was possible. It's possible this is the work of a country trying out some prototypes and maybe the US government knows it, but they don't want to admit it. All I'm saying guys is this idea of aliens controlling the UFOs is very cool and I want to believe it, but we also can't be disappointed if when the report comes out, things aren't what we had hoped for. I don't think it's a bird or something that was mistaken for something else that we already know, but going with this idea of another country testing out new technology, what I can tell you guys right now is the American government would not appreciate it and would certainly take action rather quickly. Whether that means putting sanctions on whoever was responsible or even threatening them with force of their own, if for example North Korea was responsible, well we may find ourselves headed towards a bit of an escalation. Now hopefully it is aliens and the American government doesn't feel they need to prove to everyone why their army is so powerful. You guys get what I'm saying? You know, by going after another country to send a message. But I think before we all go nuts and say it's aliens confirmed, we look at all the potential possibilities. And the idea of this being a new form of technology created by a country who's trying to be the leader in tech innovation, well, I mean, it doesn't seem all that crazy, does it? <laughs> all in all, all I'm saying, guys, is we gotta see how things play out. I really do hope it's aliens. It could be another country's work. Maybe it's a meteor. I mean, I don't think it's a meteor, but who knows, really? That being said, let me know your thoughts on this one down below, guys. For now, let's do some common replies from the video. What if America bans Bitcoin? Greek myth dude said, I hope then graphics cards will be affordable. Is that why they're not, is it because of Bitcoin? <laughs> I don't understand why graphic cards, I know they just came out with a brand new one. Uh, is it Nvidia? They came out with like a crazy good one. I have a MacBook and I, like if you guys want to send me money to get a better computer, I play World of Warcraft on my MacBook. It sounds like a bomb's gonna explode whenever I play that game. It's awful, I can't do it. I like, so I gotta set up a GoFundMe or something. <laughs> Alex Lane said, I believe the diamond hands are shining deep down under all the blood. Where's my diamond hands shirt? I think it's in the laundry. Yeah, it's not here. Well, I would wear the shirt, but you guys know I have diamond hands. Trail said, bought BTC at 10K, sold at 55K, and don't regret it. It will go under 15K before 100K. Congrats on that big profit. Just reminder though, taxes, I think they could track it now. So just be aware of that. Um, but hey, what the government doesn't know, right? No, I'm joking. And uh, I don't know. I don't think it'll drop below 15. I think it'll break 100 before, and I'll take that bet with you. The loser has to buy the winner a Bitcoin. So if it breaks 100 before it goes below 15, you buy me a Bitcoin. If it goes below 15 before it breaks 100, I'll buy you one. Is that a fair deal? Sounds good. All right, guys, that's all for this one. I've been your host, Pepper. We'll see you guys soon.